Hello, this is Richard Walker for New Eagle Consulting. In this video, I'm going to take you through a modular architecture for basic engine control software. We're using the MotoHawk Tool Suite, which allows us to automatically generate code from this model for testing on embedded hardware such as this module. At our top level, we have definitions for what our target hardware will be and a trigger for our application code. If we dive in, you'll see a high-level architecture of sensors, controller logic, and actuators. Underneath sensors, we have a couple categories. The first is engine speed for sensing our crank and camshaft sensors and converting that into RPM. We have linear sensors for manifold air pressure and similar readouts, nonlinear sensors for thermistors, potentiometer sensors for our throttle position and accelerator pedal. Next, in actuators, you'll see we have a couple categories for injector control. This will pulse your injectors in synchronization with your crank and camshaft sensors. Similarly, we have a section for coil control. We have an H-bridge for controlling a motor and a throttle body. Back up to the high level, if we dive under controller, you'll see we have another layer of architecture. We have virtual sensors. This is for uh, inputs to your controller logic that aren't directly coming from physical sensors. This includes processing of raw sensors for arbitrating redundant sensors and also creating uh, a notion of engine state and similar states. We have air and load based calcs for using your physical sensors to convert into something useful for us like indicated torque. Back up, the next would be our controller. Underneath our controller, we have three distinct engine states, as I mentioned before, and this virtual sensor will determine which of these states is active. Most of your operation will happen in the run state, so we'll look under there. Here we have a bunch of different managers. We have a manager for our fuel system, for spark, and for airflow. Now the actual code running underneath these is going to be specific to your controller objectives but it could, it's easy to cut, copy, paste, or replace the logic underneath each of these modular systems. you also see peripheral subsystems for things such as idle governor, max speed governor, or tracking your fueling to a stoichiometric, se stoichiometric set point, um, and other auxiliary I.O. such as fan control or EGR flow control. We go back up. We also have diagnostics for any rationalities that are important to detecting faults in your system. Now since we've been using the MotoHawk tool suite for this, we can then automatically generate this into code. I won't do it live, but if you do a build by hitting Control B, you can pull up your diagnostic viewer and you should see compile log and then a note at the end about a DLL and SRZ being created. These are files you can use to flash into your embedded system and test your application. Thank you very much for your time. I hope this video gives you a taste of how we can quickly synthesize a basic engine control software. Thank you.